Turtle Creativity. Today, we're going to make a custom canvas bag. For this project, you will need a canvas bag, iron-on, a weeding tool, some scissors, a Cricut mat, your Cricut machine, and your Easy Press. Let's get started. All right, the first step for this project will be to go into design space and design what you want to be on your bag. For my bag, I will be putting my name and a turtle. My name and the turtle's shell will be the same color and the turtle's body will be used in another color. Let's get ready to make it. Now, the project has sorted into two colors. The shell in my name is going to be the silver glitter color. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this color down on the mat. Smoothing it down nice and smooth. Now, because this is going onto a canvas bag and it is an iron on, we will need to mirror the image. Next, I'm going to go ahead and load my mat. Making sure it is nice and loaded. On my screen, I'm going to go ahead and click on Arn On. And now on my Cricut machine, I'm going to click on the button to load the mat. And it's getting ready. The mat is loaded. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Cricut button. And there it goes. Yay! All right, now it's calling for us to unload the mat. All right, let's go ahead and flip this over and peel it off. All right, and I'm gonna put this aside to weed this later. Shiny side down. Smooth it out. And then we're gonna load the mat. Clicking on the C. And there it goes. All right, that didn't take long at all. Let's go ahead and unload the mat. Doing the same thing, flipping over and pressing down. All right. So, to weed an image, you find the corner of your iron on and you go ahead and pull back. And it will reveal the cut. There is a few circles that we need to weed out. This one here. Putting the weeding tool in it. And let's see. This one over here. All right. And one up here, one over here. All right, 
right. Now, my name, I've already waited off camera. And the body of the turtle, I've already weeded him as well. So as you can see, the shell will go on top of his body just like that. All right, I am so excited. Now for the next step, we're gonna go ahead and put my Easy Press mat into my canvas bag. Now what this mat does is it, one, it protects the surface and it absor absorbs all of the heat from the heat press. Now what I'm doing now, I'm gonna go ahead and press my Cricut button, is I am just ironing out my bag. Now this does two things. One, it eliminates all of the wrinkles and then two, it actually heats up the surface so that my press of the letters and my little turtle will adhere to it beautifully. All right. Perfect. All right. I'm going to place my name where I want it. It's exactly where I want it. I'm going to move it over just a smidge. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put down my Teflon sheet. And now we're gonna move over my Easy Press to my name. All right, so everything but my E fits on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in two parts. And we're gonna do this at the temperature of 305 for 30 seconds. And it's counting down. A little pressure, but not too much. And we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome. I'm just gonna slide it over to get the D. Same amount of time, 30 seconds. And again, not too much pressure. And there we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Yay! All right, we're gonna put it back into its stand. And move the Teflon sheet. All right, and we're going to peel it up. Voila, everyone, look at that! Amazing! All right. Now we're gonna go on and put the turtle down. And I'm gonna have him kind of off center, kind of up like that. Moving it over just a little bit. Let's see, maybe scoot him down just like that. All right. And again, putting down the Teflon sheet. And he will be pressed for 30 seconds as well. Again, pressing down, not too hard. And with this easy press, it is so simple to have a nice even press because with the easy press, the whole back of the arm is at one steady temperature which makes your pressing of any iron on amazing. All right. Putting that down. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Voila. Now, we're gonna put on a little bit more heat to him 
But we're gonna do his shell first. Now, with the shell, I'm gonna go ahead and line up the edges. All right. And if you've seen me create the t-shirt for Turtle Creativity, you will notice that this is the same turtle. And if you wanna know how I made that shirt, definitely check out that video. All right, let's add his shell down. 30 more seconds. Now Cricut is also coming out with some different size Easy Press. It's called the Easy Press 2. And I am so excited about that because there is a smaller version and a bigger version. Cannot wait. All right. And this is done. Let's put it back. Let's peel off. Voila! Simply amazing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down my Teflon sheet just one more time, just to press over the whole thing. And I'm gonna do half the time for that, which it will be 15 seconds. Click on my timer. So I'm gonna do 15 seconds for one side and 15 seconds for the other. All right. Do, 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 do. Start. Here we go. And this is just the final press that I, I just like to do just to make sure everything is down and in place. All right, and I'm just gonna shift it. And like I said, with that new size of Cricut Easy Press, I'll be able to actually press this whole entire bag with the, the new one that's coming. All right, and there we have it. Let us, there it is. Take out the mat. Well, everyone, here's my finished bag. Who's taking my bag now? Huh. Well, I had an awesome time creating this project. If you enjoyed this too, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!